We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Pete the Luck Lights, it's time once again for this. And of course, what this is, is another wing thing. This one is for quarter two of 2023. And there's a few number of sauces actually in here that I really wanted to get to last time, but there was just too many on deck holding over from uh, December. So this time, Probably over half of these sauces won't be in the very next one, so this should get things caught up quite a bit. Some very deserving and wonderful sauces here. I'm pretty excited about this. So, kicking things off, we have the Hot Ones Classic Garlic Fresno. We have the Sinai, Sinai Gourmet Tropicante. We have Hot and Saucies Garlic and Pepperoncini. We have Another appearance from Angry Goat. This one is the Heatness number seven from Cholula Sweet Habanero from Bravado the Ghost Pepper Blueberry from High River. We have the Tears of the Sun Private Reserve from Adobo Loco, the Cola Hay Kid from I don't actually know who makes this, but this is the Retsuko Rage, uh, which is an FYE exclusive. This is 13 stars nuclear option. We have here a double loco hamajang. We have the torchbearer, honey badger, karma's scorpion disco, and rounding it out is the hot ones constrictor. So the Sine gourmet, the hot saucy, the angry goat, the cholula, the high river. Five of the first seven will not be in the next episode. The, uh, probably this Cola Hay Kid, this is the last trial for that. The Retsuka Rage, I, I'm interested to see how it comes out, but I'm not planning on keeping this in the rotation. There's not actually that much left of it either. Uh, 13 Star Nuclear Option could go either way. I don't know if I'll actually have enough of this left by the time the next one rolls around. Hamajang, Hamajang is probably pretty much at the end also. Uh, this one, the Honey Badger is really, really close. I don't know if there would be enough left for another wing, so uh, that one might be done, and then finally, <laughs> the Hot Ones Constrictor. So, six out of that. So, out of these 14 sauces, three of them have potential to show up in the next wing thing, and of those 14, nine of them are from the Hot Ones show. All right, with all that out of the way, let's get on into saucing these babies up. So we have some nice, crispy, fresh out of the air fryer wings as usual. And uh, let's throw in this one. Classic garlic Fresno from Hot Ones. A surprisingly very, very good sauce. I was actually kind of shocked by how much I like this one. This one has got at least one more, maybe two more appearances. Uh, I don't think it'll be in 2024, though. Okay, the Tropicante. And uh, let's do a drum with that one. Tropicante. Sine Gourmet Tropicante. A really interesting sauce, but, but I honestly don't know that it's one I like a lot. So this one, I, I don't know, that, I mean, it, it, it's fighting to get the rest of that out of the bottom is going to be pretty hard, and I'm not sure I'm up for that. All right, hot and saucy garlic and pepper and seedy. This one, I actually am pretty close to finishing off. It is, uh, I got way closer than I thought I was, 
going to because I really don't like this sauce particularly. It's not bad per se, it's just really, really not my thing. And of course there's written reviews for all of these sauces and there is videos, I believe for the majority of them, if not all of them. Alright, oh here we go, here we go. This is, this is my favorite sauce so far this year. Definitely the one I'm looking forward to the most. From Angry Goat, the Heatness Number 7. They're sort of celebratory sauce for um, the Heatness to commemorate something or other. I forget what it was. That might be in the written review, but I this is just a phenomenal sauce. Definitely my favorite of the year. Uh, won't be sauce of the year due to the way that the criteria works, but certainly an outstanding sauce. All right, so the Cholula Sweet Habanero. This was one of the holdovers, and I wanted to have it last time, and I just didn't get to it. Okay, and that is going to do it. No point in keeping that. So that's going to... There's our, there's our first empty. Our first dead soldier of... The festivities. Although realistically the Tropicante and Hot and Saucy, there's no way I'm fighting for that. This I will. This I will. There's a little bit left in there. That one definitely will, will happily put it on some strips or something like that. Okay. Bravado, Ghost Pepper, Blueberry. Boy, this thing has got a really good and, and honestly surprising run. Surprising to me. There's probably two more left in this one and so I imagine it'll be with us the rest of 2023 but I don't think it'll make it in 2024 in fact it might not even make it any more after this just depending on on uh, how much I like this one or don't like it as a as the case maybe all right this is the high river tears of the sun private reserve This one I actually probably have enough left for one more. So this one might, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. This one might actually show up in the uh, next round as well. All right. Cola Heat Kid. We're getting down there in this one. Should be all right, though, I think. We're good to go on that one. I don't think, uh, you know, there might be enough left for one more, actually. So this one might be surviving another day as well. All right, Retsuko Rage. This is one of the other ones I'm very curious about. Uh, this is one of the Sauce of the Year contenders. Just out of nowhere, really surprised by that, but one of the Sauce of the Year contenders for uh, 2023. Retsuka Rage, I've tried it on so many things, just not this. And it is quite just a, it's, it's kind of an amazing sauce. I really find it uh, remarkable. Okay, and the nuclear option from 13 stars. This one I was curious about as well to see how it would do here. I'm, I'm nervous it's going to be a bit too bitter, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what we see. All right. All right, very nice. Okay, uh, I'm a Jane. Another excellent, excellent sauce. Oh boy, this one's... I'm afraid I'm gonna run it out on this. Oh, there's... Ooh. <laughs> There's just a little bit left in there, but uh, probably I'll probably have that on a burger. Ooh, will I? That's not definitely not enough for another one of the wing things. That much is for certain. All right. Okay. And the. All right, so this is the Honey Badger Torch Bear. Uh, 
Okay. Nice, thick sauce. Uh, this one, though, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. That, that one I'm probably just gonna, I'm probably just gonna finish. Uh, really, I've got some grill, you know, there's a lot of grilling I'm doing right now. And some of these I think would be, I'm not gonna try this as a grill sauce because I don't think it'll work. But I'll bet it would be good on, you know, some nice grilled uh, black and pepper. Oh, did I get too many? Yes, I did. Here's a guy I can't count. Okay, um, Scorpion Disco. Put these over here. This one was kind of surprising. I, I wasn't thinking I was going to like it as much as I did. Very, very happy surprise there. Okay, and last but far from least is the Hot Ones Constrictor. Uh, absolute demon of a sauce. I might have enough left for one more after this even. We'll see. Yeah, you know, uh, don't worry there. Uh, that's, <laughs> it's going to be really close. Oh man, I don't know. This one might be one I just have to finish off. Certainly, it's had a pretty phenomenal run in uh, in the lineup to this point. And then one of the number nines could take turns being a number ten for a while. Okay, uh, all right. So, in order now, this classic garlic Fresno is a little bit hotter than the next three or four sauces that follow it, but. It was the lead off on the show, so we're going to have a lead off here. Oh, man. Oh, such an excellent sauce. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the Hot One sauces, but man, that one's a winner. When they hit it, they hit it right. All right, next up is, nope, is the Tropicante from Sine Gourmet. Very, very strange uh, sauce, especially for wings. It's not bad, it's just odd. A throw. Tropical banana papaya. Just, I don't like that on wings. All right. Here we are with the hot saucy garlic and pepperoncini. I did a lot of experimenting with this sauce, trying to find somewhere where it worked. Well, cross wings off the list. Oh. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. Nope, that's no good. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, all right. As expected. To be honest, that was as expected. I wasn't thinking I was going to enjoy that one much. All right, what do we got next? Oh yeah. This wonderful Angry Goat concoction here. Just a fantastic sauce. I don't, I don't love it here. I love having the sauce again, I just don't think it, I don't really works very well with wings. It's 
It's a marvel. Just a beautiful, gorgeous marvel of a sauce. All right. This, wow, this uh, Cholula Sweet Habanero. Again, Cholula just really stepping out of the box on this one. I mean, if you like pineapple habanero type stuff on wings, they probably like this. It's not bad. Not half bad. I don't know that I would ever want it again in that setting, but surprisingly, I'm getting a slight bit of heat here. Surprisingly. I was not thinking that was going to be the case until I started to get into this side. All right. Blueberry ghost pepper. Usual business from them. I'm getting a bit tired of that, actually. That one might be taking a break from the rotation. <clears throat> Tears of the Sun. Private Reserve from High River. Very, very good. Halfway through, I was getting just a little bit of an edge, but nothing too crazy. We haven't gone past those keys yet, though. All right, the old Hamajang. I think this is going to be the last hurrah for Hamajang. Solid, but uh, another flavor I'm getting a bit tired of. And there's, we'll see. All right, Ratsuka Rage. Wow, interesting. I don't dislike it. But that's not to say I like it either. Ah, getting some good heat going now. All right, nuclear option. Thirteen stars. Another one I'm a little bit ambivalent about. I won't be appearing in the next one, that's for sure. All right. How about a Hamada Hamajang? Such a great sauce. Kind of like you had the. Cole A kid go, yeah. That's alright, it's not bad. And then you have this. And you're like, wow. Okay. Honey Badger. Whew. Badgered up. What a great sauce. So good. So good, so furious. But so good. 
I think we're in Reaper territory now. You know, surprisingly, this scaled up better than I thought it would. So I thought, like I said, I thought it was going to be tame, tame, tame. Uh, ah, lips are burning. Until we bring in the night, you know, turn on the night with these other ones, but. Oh, yeah. All right. Scorpion Disco. Dance of fire, here we go. Oh. Such a good sauce. Oh, tremendous. It's hot, but it's really quite nice. Oh. Oh, that's good. Burn it, but it's good. All right. Uh, last ride of the constrictor, I think. Boy. Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. Yep. Oh. Uh. Uh. Woo. All right. That's a hot sauce, man. <laughs> okay. So good. Okay, these five I liked a lot. The Hot Ones, Classic Garlic Fresno, the High River, Tears of the Sun, Pratt, uh, Pratt Reserve, Adobo Loka Habajang, Torch Bear Honey Badger, Carmen Scorpion Disco. Uh, these two I didn't like. Hot Saucy Garlic Pepperoncini, Cyanide Gourmet Tropicante. These seven were, I was just neutral. So Retsuka Rage, uh, Adobo Loco Colahe, Cholula Sweet Habanero, Angry Go Heat in a Seven, Bravado, Ghost Pepper Blueberry, 13 Stars Nuclear Option, Hot Ones Constrictor. Boy, I do like this sauce. I think I might be able to get. This is gonna go, I think, one more time. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow, that was finished really strong. Uh, but definitely, this is. Uh, I liked only. I liked about a third of them. The rest I was either kind of neutral about, or I didn't. I disliked. So it's been a while since I've had. A wing thing that's fallen out like that, but it, it was a lot of fun. I really did a lot of different flavors, coverage of very different peppers, from Serrano to Reapers. Uh, I think set, I don't think there's a seven pot this time, unless there's seven here. Seven pot in this. Hold on. Seven pot is in this, but it is not prominent. But anyway, we have coverage on just a huge variety of peppers. So that's why I love doing these. They're a lot of fun, a lot of different takes, a lot of great flavors. 
And, uh, you know, it's good to get lit up. So, uh, there we have it. The quarter two 2023 wing thing. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.